Smile and learn. This has been my journey through the solar system, people. It was incredible. Whoa! Whoa! Right so cool. Greetings, Earthling. I need you for a new adventure. I hope you're ready. This is a very important mission. A gigantic asteroid is heading towards your planet and we have to save it. We have to study the rotation and revolution movements of planet Earth to find out whether it will impact Earth or pass at a distance. Would you help me? Sure, of course I would. Mission commences now. Right away? been ages. I've missed you. There's no time to lose. I need you to tell me everything you know about the rotation and revolution movements of planet Earth. It's your lucky day, my friend. This week, we learned all about it in class, and I scored a 10. Top marks! Just like the rest of the planets in the solar system, planet Earth moves in two ways, rotation and revolution. Can you see how the Earth is spinning around its axis? This movement is called rotation. The Earth spins around an imaginary line, which passes through the poles. If you look closely, you'll notice that the axis is a little inclined, almost 24 degrees. It takes planet Earth 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis, which is the equivalent of one day. Rotation explains day and night. As you can see, it's daytime in the part of the Earth that faces the sun, and nighttime on the dark side. Do you understand? I do. Rotation means the Earth is spinning around itself. Exactly right. Now I'll explain revolution. The movement of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. The Earth takes one whole year to go around the Sun. Before, people used to think that the orbit of the Earth around the Sun was cyclical but they weren't right. As you can see here, the orbit is elliptical. Thanks to revolution and the inclination of the rotation axis of the Earth, we have four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The more the hemisphere is inclined towards the sun, the more directly the sunlight reaches the Earth's surface. It's warmer and that's why it's summertime. By contrast, the other hemisphere is less inclined so sunlight is less direct, that's why it's colder and it's winter time. Here, we can see that it's summertime in the northern hemisphere and winter time in the southern hemisphere. The opposite will occur in six months. Sunlight will reach the southern hemisphere in a more direct way and it will be summer, while in the northern hemisphere, it will be winter. Owing to the fact that the revolution of the Earth around the Sun doesn't take exactly 365 days, but 365 days and 6 hours, there are leap years, which have one more day, 366 days. That's why every 4 years, February has one more day, day 29. Wow, how impressive! So these calculations mean that planet Earth is doomed? The asteroid will impact Earth in one minute. No! Wait, did you take into account that this is a leap year? Oopsie! Hold on. The Earth is saved from the asteroid. It will pass close by without hitting it. Yay! And it's all thanks to the leap year. Whoa! Impressive, right kids? Eclipses last several hours. Whoa! What's happening? Hey, you know very well that levitating is not allowed in this school. Come back down here! This spaceship rings a bell. Greetings, Earthling. Hey! Hello there! You scared the living daylights out of me! Yeah, apologies for abducting you without any notice, but... There's an emergency! Is there another asteroid about to hit the Earth? No! Worse! I have an exam tomorrow, and I've been told it's about eclipses. Can you explain them to me? 
Oh my, you did scare me. You're lucky. It was just a few days ago we learned about eclipses in class. Awesome. Tell me everything about them. Very well then. Pay close attention. Sometimes the sun, the earth, and the moon align together, forming an eclipse. On Earth, we can see two types of eclipses. Solar eclipse, like this one right here, and lunar eclipse, which would occur like this. I'll tell you about it step by step. A solar eclipse is produced when the moon comes between the Earth and the sun, blocking part of the sunlight, or even the entire sun. This means that during daytime, the moon positions itself in front of the sun, covering it up. That's why from Earth, we see something similar to a ring of light. It's very important to know that to observe an eclipse, it's necessary to cover up your eyes using special eyewear. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth positions itself between the sun and the moon, blocking sun rays from reaching the Earth. During the eclipse, a shadow is formed and the moon becomes dark in our view, changing its color to red. This phenomenon is known as blood moon. And that's all about eclipses. It's very interesting, isn't it? It's incredible. Let's see. Read to me what you wrote to make sure you understood well. An eclipse happens when the Earth, Sun, and Moon align together. We can observe two different types of eclipses from the Earth. Solar eclipses occur when the Moon comes between the Sun and the Earth, forming a shadow that covers the Earth's surface. Lunar eclipses happen when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, forming a shadow that covers the lunar surface, changing the color of the moon to copper red. That's amazing! You'll pass with flying colors! I need to get going. I have a lot of studying to do. You're very welcome! Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.